Now, the Tamil Nadu Cable Television Owners Association has come out with a string of new offers and promises to the viewing population in the state. Hoping to revive the Arasu Cable Television Network, the group wanted to bring back the offers of a bouquet of channels in the package that comes at a low cost. Burdened by the levying of the sales tax in the previous regime, they have requested the Chief Minister, Ms. J.J. Lalitha, to abolish the tax here on. See, the main aim of our uh, meeting today is to emphasize our great CM, Amma Avarhal, to bring the Arasu TV to facilitate all the Tamil Nadu viewers, that is TV operators and then TV uh, viewers, Tamil Nadu people, should have a good TV channels with a lesser cost. At the same time, our leader, Mr. Kyle Ilavaras Avarhal, he has emphasized that our um, great Tamil Nadu leader will definitely bring life forever to all the cable, cable operators operator. in Tamil Nadu. Switching to some national news, earlier this month, NDTV had travelled to the Badra Tiger Reserve in North Karnataka to film the release of a captured wild tiger. Now, after a team of tiger researchers studied images of the released animal, it turns out it had made a journey covering hundreds of kilometres. The first time such a long dispersal of a tiger has been recorded. Maya Sharma reports. An incredible sight, the release of a captured wild tiger back into the forest. But it turns out this tiger, captured near Shimoga after it killed a man, had travelled a long, long way from its original home, maybe as much as 300 kilometres. Actually, this was a young male that was camera trapped by my team in February 2010 in uh, one edge of Bandipur Tiger Reserve. So in the period, about one year and four months, he is dispersed, which is what they do at that age, moved across this highly fragmented landscape, and ended up in near uh, Shikaripura, which is a linear distance of 280 kilometers. He probably would have walked f far longer. And going through the records of dispersals of tigers, including those based on telemetry, we find this is the longest recorded dispersal of a male tiger. Ulas Karan's team had shots of the right side of this tiger in Bandipur, thanks to their camera trap. With the help of software, it was matched with shots of the captured tiger. Every tiger stripes are unique, so this was an exciting discovery. I think it's a positive thing. Uh, you know, tiger habitats uh, are under threat because of both development and um, rural use okay. pressures. And despite this eating away yes. of their habitats, there is still room for tigers to move through. And if we move in swiftly and protect the remaining corridors, okay. uh, I think we can maintain connectivity between major source populations. New information on just how far a young male tiger will travel in search of a viable place to live. We human beings need to make sure we don't make that task more difficult by further encroaching into their habitat. Maya Sharma for NDTV. Moving on. Now in what's been shocking a lot of us in the past one week over the cost of close to 18 crore rupees, which is the cost of keeping Kasab, the state government of Maharashtra has now responded that they have no option but to spend this much in order to provide the highest security for the face of the Mumbai terror attack. Mumbai's JJ Hospital, where a special ward was built for Ajmal Kasab at the cost of rupees 2 crores. Built to insulate him from other patients, it has barely been used in the last two years. Among the expenses, adding up to Kasab's whopping 18 crore bill, expenditure that many are questioning. I'm certainly concerned about the kind of money that has been thrown away at a time, at no time in our, in our, in our recent history could we have afforded to spend this kind of money. Besides the money spent on the unused JJ ward, over three crores were spent on his high security cell at Mumbai's Arthur Road Jail. Two crores on a tunnel connecting the cell to the court, a tunnel he barely used. His security entrusted to the Indo-Tibetan border police will cost the state nearly 11 crores. His lawyer's fees add up to nearly 36 lakhs. Add to that rupees 25,000 for his medical treatment and another 25,000 for food. I mean, why should I have to pay his bills? And that is the reason for that 10,000 could be used to put a power plant, to put, you know, some water, what do you call, scheme to make roads better. The state says it had no choice but to provide Kasab with the highest level of security 
as it is responsible for his safety. In fact, the Chief Minister's security at rupees 60 lakh a year is only a fraction of what it costs to guard Kasab. But the irony remains. The city, which has borne the brunt of his brutality, is paying to keep him safe. An NDTV Bureau report. When we come back, it's raining fruits and a burst of colours take over the hills of Kunor. We bring you this carnival of sorts in just a bit.